My name is Father Brendan, and I'm a monk of Glenstall Abbey. I was born in Ennis in 1970. So I grew up when, compared with today, there wasn't a huge amount um, that people could do, but I have no memory ever of being bored. I always seemed to find something to do. And when I was coming near the end of my time in secondary school, I had to decide, like everybody else, what it was that I was going to do with my life. And I had the vaguest idea that in some way I wanted to give my life to God. And at the time, for me, that meant that I was going to become a priest. So I approached the priest that I knew at home, and I told them my story. And the next thing I knew, I was um, going to Maynooth. And I arrived in Maynooth just after my 18th birthday. And there were 73 others who went to Maynooth that year with me and started at the same time. And I stayed in Maynooth for three years uh, while I did my, my studies in arts there. And at the end of that time, the Bishop of Killaloo asked me if I would like to go to the Irish College in Rome. So I thought, why not? So off I went, and I spent a further uh, four years um, in the Irish College in Rome studying uh, in the Gregorian University. So I did all of my theology there. And then a further year after that, after my ordination, I was also uh, in Rome. And as I was coming up to the time of my ordination, I began to wonder if I was actually doing the right thing. Because while I was in Rome, I encountered for the first time monks and monasticism to any great extent. And there was something about that way of life um, that attracted me. And it was there that I first came in contact with monks from Glenstall Abbey. And I became interested in Benedictine life, uh, monastic life, and uh, I started to, to read a little bit about it and to talk to um, monks that I knew about this. So I remember at the time coming up to my ordination telling the bishop all about this, and he told me that if I was happy to go ahead with my ordination as a priest, he was happy. And um, so that's what I decided to do. And he said, whatever else will be, will be after that. So I was ordained in Ennis. And uh, I went back to Rome for a further year, as I said. And then after that time, I was assigned to a parish. So I spent two years in the parish of Kilrush, which I liked very much. But this other idea of being a monk never really left my mind. And I thought a lot about it, and then I decided that I'd never have any peace if I didn't try this in some way or other. So I went back to the bishop, who had forgotten all about our previous conversation, and I told him my story again. And um, he was very nice, and he agreed that it would be a good thing if I tried this. So that was 22 years ago, and I'm still here, and I'm still trying it. And since I came to the monastery, um, I've really had a very varied um, and unusual life. Um, I've been everything from the sacristan to the abbot. Um, I have um, thought in the school, I thought classical studies, I've thought geography, I've thought religion, um, I've been a housemaster to the junior students in the school for five years, um, and I have been master of ceremonies, I've been novice master, I've been prior for a long time, um, and most recently, um, for reasons best known to themselves, um, the community elected me as abbot. Um, and I'm just after 
finishing four years as abbot, so I'm halfway through um, my sentence. And um, my life here has been one that's been very happy and very fulfilled. Um, I also spent some time as a monk um, back in Italy on studies, um, which uh, I enjoyed very much. Um, and now at this point in my life, uh, just about half a century gone, and who knows how long left to go, um, looking back, it's gratifying to be able to see how in the different twists and turns that our life story takes, that you can see the hand of God at work in strange sort of ways and in very simple ways sometimes. But hindsight being a wonderful thing, you can see how certain people uh, that you met, certain things that seemed like coincidences at the time, all proved to be very important in things turning out the way in which they did. And looking back now, I can see that I am exactly where I'm supposed to be. And that brings with it a great sense of peace. Um, and it also brings with it a contentment and a happiness. And while all of us looking back over our lives would have um, done things differently at different times, um, if we could do it all again, I really can honestly say that there's nothing major in my life that I would change if I had the opportunity to do everything again. Um, and because of that, I think I have been very blessed in life. And my wish for you is that you would um, experience something of the same.